Amazon Tribe finally connects to the internet only to wind up hooked on corn. Darkness. All right. Okay, I came across this. I wanted to share it with you guys. This is part sad, part hilarious, part human nature, part why you probably shouldn't have social media on your phone. Yeah. All right. A reclusive tribe in the Amazon finally got hooked up to the internet thanks to Elon Musk, only to be torn apart by social media and pornography addiction. All right. Brazilia, Brazil's 2,000 member Marubu tribe has been left bitterly divided by the arrival of the Tesla's founder's Starlink service nine months ago, which connected to uh, which connected a remote rainforest community along the uh, Itu River to the web for the first time. When it arrived, everyone was happy. But now things have gotten worse. Young people have gotten <laughs> lazy because of the internet. Really? They're learning the ways of the white people. Heck <laughs> yes. The there's... whites have ruined everything again. <laughs> so there's a picture of them holding the Starlink, celebrating only to have their entire civilization destroyed wow. by the technology that we are all addicted to. The Marubu, uh, the Marubu are a chast tribe who even frown upon kissing in public, but Alfredo Marubu... All Marubu used the same last name, said he is anxious that the arrival of the service, which delivers super fast internet to far flung corners of the planet, has been billed as a game changer by Musk, who could upend standards of decorum. Alfredo said many young Marubu men have been sharing corn videos in group chats, and he has already absorbed more aggressive behavior. Wow. We're worried young people are going to want to try it, he said of the kinky um, eggs acts they've suddenly been exposed to on screen everyone is so connected that sometimes they don't even talk to their own family <laughs> yep. if this isn't a, a picture of america in the west like i don't know what is yeah it's just more condensed yeah right it's just like super compressed like we're just gonna compress time and it just happen fast and it's just, it just happened in a couple weeks instead of a couple decades yeah <laughs> starlink works by connecting antennas to six thousand low orbiting satellites uh you know stick it to all you flat earthers oh. it's already saved lives uh, members are also able to share educational resources. That's not what they're sharing with other Amazonian tribes and connect with friends and family who now live elsewhere. It has also opened up a world of possibilities for young Marubu, some of whom have been unable to conceptualize what lays beyond their immediate surrounds. That's sick. One teen told the Times that she now dreams of traveling of the world, while another says she aspires to become a dentist. That's pretty cool. However, Inoku also complained of the significant downsides. It changed the routine. The routine. Mm. So much so that it was detrimental. If uh, in the village, if you don't hunt, fish, and plant, you don't eat. Some young people maintain our traditions. Others just want to spend the whole afternoon on their phones. Is this a picture of them on their phones? No, oh, this no. is them setting it up. Oh my gosh. Are they gonna? What do you do now? Pandora's is out. Uh, the, the Pandora's box is open. Do you take it away? Do you shut this down? Do you rock out? I think you gotta pull an Amish situation. Go Amish. I think you gotta like, hey, the Marubu for thousands of years have stood for generational tradition, and you are bringing in the 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 white the white man's addiction into our culture. I like how they blame the whites. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Tribes people become so addicted to Marubu leaders, fearing that history and culture, which is passed down orally, could be lost forever. They have now <laughs> just like like you waste all your time, you obsess, you get into more aggressive versions of sexualized content. Yep. you lose your culture, you lose your identity. <laughs> Tribes people became so addicted to that Marubu leaders, fearing that history and culture, which is passed down orally, could be lost forever. They have now limited access to the internet for two hours each morning. Five hours each evening and all day Sunday. But parents, that's that's all. That's still too much. That's too much. They're 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 still getting close to the average uh, eight hours eight hours a day. But parents will still worry the damage may already be done. Another father said he's anxious about his children playing violent first-person shooter games. That should be the least of his concerns. Wait, they got Starlink and an Xbox One. I don't know how they how they get these kids <laughs> Xboxes and a smartphone. Yeah, and how do yeah? <laughs> Who did this to them? Just give them the internet, yeah, and like library level computers. You should, they should, it should be an accelerated course where it starts with like straight up the original internet. It's like, dee, doo, dee, and then for, for week one, week two, 
you know, we get some the the original MacBook. <laughs> Week three, you get yeah. you get the first iPod Touch. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, I'm worried they will, <laughs> they're going to suddenly want to mimic them. Meanwhile, others say they've fallen victim to internet scams, given that they lack of digital literacy. While many mm. youngsters are chatting with strangers on social media, what what, what internet scams? If yeah. this is a remote tribe, what are they going to get scammed out of? I know fish. They're like I emailed my I I just mailed my seeds to you. What are the uh, yo? Okay, <laughs> keep going. Tag not that one. Uh, no, nope, not those seeds. Okay. <laughs> she believes anxieties about the internet are inflated, and it starts that most tribes people wanted and deserved access to the World Wide Web. Still, some officials in Brazil have criticized the rollout to the remote community, saying special cultures and customs could now be lost forever. Mm. <laughs> You know what they got to do? What they got to do? They got to go viral on YouTube or TikTok about their <laughs> culture. So then all the young people are like, oh, the reason we're viral is because of our culture. So now we got to create fire TikToks around our culture. Mm. And then we're like, keep the culture alive. Yeah, yeah. It's going like, to be like, day one of being, uh, day one of planting season in the Marubu tribe. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be like, POV, you're a Marubu and you got to plant some corn. They could make this a crazy vacation destination. They can leverage this That's to get everybody to come to them. So don't go out into the world. You just get all the amenities that you want from the world to come to you if you can leverage TikTok and Instagram. That's a fact. You're right? gonna, you're, you know, you're gonna get some young Marubus that are like, how to make ten thousand dollars a month <laughs> with drop with shipping. Amazon <laughs> with FBA. Amazon drop shipping. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> They're like, you don't have to leave your tribe. You don't have to leave your forest. Oh my gosh. And then there's hey, and there's always gonna be the bottom feeders. There's gonna be the the corn addicted. Young men. The the fact that this changed the fabric of their society so fast makes me think how many people are so like how many of us are so in grips with this technology and we're so desensitized to it and we don't even know what's happened to us over the last two decades. Yeah, and we're and we're on some like just minimize our kids' screen time. Right. It's like we kind of have proof that this is not good for you. They if you wake up in in a, if you just get born yeah. in a generation that has smartphones like the, they're they played it out you are it's beyond just like oh some technology or some screen time there is definitely something something going on it's not not nothing it's yeah. not nothing so anyway uh, i just want to share that with you guys a part of me found pray, it pray for the marubu yeah play for the marubus a part of me found it funny a part of me found the Think tragic, but it but it is one big reflection of where we are as humans. Yeah. And how sad and how numb we probably are. Mm -hmm. But the flip side, if I'm going to put on my optimistic opium hat on. Okay. I don't know why I said optimistic opium. Copium. Um, these folks can hear the gospel. They probably have never heard the gospel. Yep. And now they could hear about Jesus. They could be watching right now. They could be watching right now. And they'd be like, who's this Jesus? Jesus came 2,000 years ago, lived the life you couldn't live, died the death you should have died, in your place on the cross for your sins, and rose three days later, providing you a way to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit, which he sent, so that we can be sanctified and consecrated and grow into who God created us to be. How amazing is that, that they can mm -hmm. now hear the gospel? So there's always upside. All right, let me know what you think about that in the comments section. And it would be remiss of me to not tell you about our biggest sale of the year, our Father's Day sale happening right now. You can get our brand new Bless God Prayer Journal at the cheapest price it's ever been, as well as some pretty fire priest provider protector launch that's perfect for the husband, the father, or the mentor in your life. So go to blessgod.shop and pick up something right now. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.